Hi guys, it's been a while since I've done a charm update and I know that I do say that a lot um, for my charm update actually most for most of my charms update I do say that a lot that I haven't been doing a charm update you know also because that's um, the true because I hardly ever uh, have the time to craft so yeah so um during the past couple of weeks, I found a little time to craft and I actually uh, craft for about straight for like uh, 4 days straight and I've made a lot of charms and actually this is my second time refilming this video for this charm update because the first charm update that I filmed, I actually deleted a few clips so that I have to you know film it because I thought that it would be a better idea because I filmed that filmed that um that first video during the night time so the lighting uh, weren't that good so for now it's actually evening and the sun still um hasn't go go down yet so I thought that it would be perfect to film a charm update so without further ado let's get started with the first batch of the charms that I've made they are all they were all inspired by um, this Facebook column. First of all, I have um, this um, bear in this costume. And in front of this costume, I actually add a lot of detailing. That's the um, rib cage and also the hip and all the skeletons and also a heart. And they are all made out of clay without um, any painting or stuff like that because for this um, charm update, I actually didn't use any paint on any of my charms. So they are all um, made out of clay. So that's how it looks like, and I actually add a little bit of blush to it. So yeah, I really like this one a lot. And that's how it looks like. Second charm that I've made is this um, cat in this witch costume, and it's holding a broom, as you can see over here. And I also really like how this turned out and there's two of the ears on top of the head. And I've said everything is made out of clay including the mouth. And yeah, that's how it looks like. The charms that I've made inspired by her is this monkey, pirate monkey. And for this instead of following her usual, you know, her normal hands, I actually Change one of the hand into the you know the pirate hook, and I use an uh, eye pin for it. And yeah, and <laughs> I think this out this turned out um, cute as well, especially the um, shirt pattern, which I like it a lot because it's pretty much my first time you know trying out you know blending the clay together like so to make the striped t-shirt. I also made this um, mummy, a bunny named mummy, you know, wrap, wrap up like a mummy. And this one is pretty small as you can see compared to my thumb. And I texture the, you know, the toilet paper is if that's what it is, or cloth. And for the back, I didn't texture it at all because I got really lazy. And for the blush, because I can't really add um, pasta on it, it might stain on the you know, cloth itself so I use um, clay instead just this um, little cute little bunny mummy this um, kind of like the adventurous um, treasure hunter I'm not quite sure what it is but it looks like it's holding on to a pretty old map which I didn't cheat it um, to look like it's very old but in the charms that the um, user made she actually um, kind of shaded to make them look really old so for me I didn't do that because I <laughs> I'm afraid that I might ruin it and I just I'm just really lazy to do that and for this I really like how the um, the coat and the you know everything turn out and it's just a bunny I also have this um, bear in this pumpkin costume and uh, the nose kind of fell off which if you can see over there which they look pretty weird because there's supposed to be a little tiny um, over dot on top there to be the, to represent the nose but that fell off so that's okay it still turned out good and that's how it looks like 
this um, uh, bunny, I believe. In this uh, so made this cup bear mermaid. Actually, had a tutorial on this one, and it was uploaded on on tutorials. So if you like to make this one, you know, I will put the link in the description down below. Just feel free to check them out and learn to make this one. And don't worry, I did um credit her. So yeah, that's how it looks like. And also the nose also kind of fell off, so it looks kind of weird over here as well. I made this um kind of like a pig um bed. I'm not sure how to explain it, but. Instead of being totally like a bat, it actually had the nose of pig. So to me, I think it kind of represent you know a pig and bat combined um, together. Also, I have this bunny, short bunny charm, and I'm planning to make a tutorial on this one, but I'm not quite sure if I should do one. So if you guys would like to see a tutorial on this one, just feel free to you know leave a comment down below. I will um, you know make one if you guys really want it. For this, I really like how it turned out, especially the matte, um, the furious sign over here, and also the eyes and everything as well. And I just really adore how this looks, and it's pretty small as well. So that's that's what makes this um, sushi charm. And uh, so far, I haven't been making you know sushi successfully. And for this one, I think that it actually turned out pretty good um, as well, except for the back red. Whereas it kind of you know, kind of you know, uh, blend off for this part over here. If you kind of get what I meant, and yeah, it's simple and nice. And I think so far this is my favorite sushi charm that I've ever made. And yeah, and inside I kind of texture it as well. I made two of these um cat charm, and they two look really adorable. And this is the first one, the first attempt, and this is the second that was inspired by her. Um, was this? I believe it's called Hatch Hawk. I'm not sure if I pronounced it correctly, but yeah, this is why it looks like. And um, this is one of my favorite charms as well because of how it looks and how the texture um, turned out. And also added a bit of blush, which is not great. And I was. Uh, I'm actually considering to make a tutorial on this one as well, so don't worry. I will, I will be definitely, you know, making a tutorial on this one because I just really like how this look. So yeah. And the last item that was inspired by her um, is this figurine, and I didn't exactly, you know, follow her actual um, figurine picture. I kind of took a few um characters out and, and just combine them together because this is uh, one of the charms and it's this barbarian uh, charm from clash of clan and if you do play clash of clan you will definitely know what um, this character is and for this i do make a lot of detailing um also on the muscle and stuff and also the chest and i made a tutorial on this one which the response didn't turn out quite this uh, charm um, it's wearing this swim swim ring and I do have a tutorial on this one as well and it's on sweet Taurus. And this looks like a kind of like an innocent puppy laying flat on the ground and that's how it looks like. I also have this um, little twin star in a the last charm that I've made is this chubby girl and her name is Bria Kelly. And she's from the voice and I actually did a couple more of um, them from the voice, the characters itself, but I have already mailed them out so I didn't get to show you um, them. But do not worry because I do have the clips uh, of them that I've shown uh, in the clips itself because like I have said in the beginning of this video, this is the second attempt of filming this charm update. So for the first attempt, I do have the clips left. For those of the charms that I haven't shown you yet, I will just you know add the clips at the end of this video, just so that you can see what I've made. And yeah, this is Bria Kelly, and she's one of my favorite um, characters from The Voice. And I really like how she turned out. And she's wearing this leather jacket and also this red pants and with this dirty blonde hair. And yeah, that's all for this charm update. I'll be um, adding the clips right now. So.
So this was in Johor by Sugar Chum Shop. She had this amazing tutorial on teaching you how to make this Maleficent um, pendant. First one is this um, chibi of her. And she's Christina Grimmie if you guys haven't um, heard and about next her. Next up, I have this um, little chibi of this um, uh, singer called also make Jade two of her. Um, Christina best friend since she was uh, younger. They are these two little chibi and this is called Sarah and this is called and Lauren. Then I also make this um, chibi of this guy and he's actually one of my Twitter good friends and we have been um, chatting a lot and I and the last to charm one of these is this um, Link from Legend of Zelda and if you haven't um, checked out the Twitter already just you know, make sure you check them out I don't have a voiceover on it and yeah I really really like how this turned out and Instagram, my social medias, and just you know, definitely check out my Instagram because I'll be uploading a lot of you know photos of the individual charms. If you, if you didn't manage to get a good look at it just now, just check out my Instagram. I'll be uploading a video, I mean, a um, photos on it. Just you know, make sure you just go and follow me on Instagram. So, yeah, thank you so much for um, 12,000 subscribers. By the way, it's it means so much to me and um, yeah, I still remember back when I just um, hit 10,000 subscribers so after, uh, after a few months I actually hit 12,000 uh, now so thank you so much for your support and goodbye have a nice day see you